Hey everybody, I'm Ethan James with TheHonestCarpenter.com. I'm in a rental property here in Raleigh, North Carolina. This house is built in about 1915. It's been cobbled together, repaired, remodeled more times than anyone can count. And one of the worst things about it is this front door. As you can see, it's not pretty hung. The slab was cut and hung in this opening, not done very well. So you have these huge gaps and problems with air coming in and out. On newer doors, weather stripping fits into a dado or kerf that runs around the inner perimeter of the door frame. Older doors, that wasn't the case. You can't use the same kind of weather stripping that just slots into that dado, stuff that you can just take out and put in very easily on your own. So instead, what are you gonna do to get weather stripping in an old door like this? I don't like that stick on adhesive foam. There's some on this door, it never did its job. It gets squished and it gets torn up. Instead, I like to use a different product altogether. This one right here, these steel and vinyl door sets. They're strips that screw onto the stop trim on the inner perimeter of the door on the exterior side butt up against the door itself and they provide some seal to keep out air pests and it just really cuts down on drafts so in this video i'm going to show you how to install it and if you want some i'm going to link some down below and i'm also going to link some of that cushion foam weather stripping too in case you do have a door like that all right let's get going first thing you want to do is pull measurements i like to install the top piece first so that i can butt the side pieces up to it so just button one corner at the top pull to the other corner that's your top measurement then go ahead and cut open the packaging for your vinyl and steel weather stripping and pull out the smaller piece. This is meant to go in the top. All these pieces come a little bit long. It's sort of a universal kit that can go up to really large 36 inch doors, but you're probably gonna have to cut your pieces down. I just latch onto one corner, pull the tape, make a mark, and then usually I'll go ahead and cut right there. I'll cut the rubber seal with a knife. Easiest way to do that. You can also do it with a little set of shears or scissors. And then I'll use my speed square and a pencil to make a square line where I want to cut the metal. Then I clamp the piece to something like my tailgate here and very carefully make that cut with a hacksaw. Try not to chew up that uh, metal strip. When you get to the very end, sometimes you can bend it and break it off and clean up the rubber seal with a knife. Then step two, you bring it to your door, pull your door shut. I like to make sure it's shut fairly tight. Hold the weather stripping up into place and push it up against the door. Don't push too hard, but try to create a contact seal there. Now, notice that the screw holes in this steel strip are actually slots. That's so that you can adjust the thing later. So set your screws in the center of those slots just carefully, and that way you'll have some play back and forth in case you need to move things. When the top one's screwed on, go ahead and check your door, make sure it pulls shut. Then you can do the same thing from the sides. Measure from the bottom of the door up to your top strip. I take that measurement, about 76 inches in this case, and now I get the longer strips and go through a very similar process. But there's one thing you wanna think about. The screw holes are not always perfectly centered or aligned in the piece, and I want a screw hole near the top and near the bottom as much as possible. So you may need to make two cuts to ensure that you're centering your measurements over the placement of the screw holes themselves. Otherwise, process very much the same. Pull with the tape, mark, cut the rubber, and then hacksaw cut the steel. Now step three, bring it for installation. Notice that it may not want to butt tightly up to the top because those rubber seals are kind of rubbing against each other. You may want to put a little notch cut in the rubber seal to get it to push up tight to the top piece, but hold it in place, same thing. Press it up against the top strip and press the bubble up against the door. Then putting screws in, you can either work your way from the top down or put a screw at the top and then go down somewhere to the middle and then even to the bottom and do the filler screws. This can kind of prevent from putting too much pressure on the door, which is something you can do if you keep pushing and screwing just from the top down. But again, all this is adjustable. On the latch side, you're gonna get possibly even more door movement by pushing on the door too hard. So go ahead, bring the door shut, put a couple screws in, maybe put the top and the center one in, then make sure that you still have play in the door, possibly move down and do the bottom, then backfill in with all the rest of the screws. After that, just spend a while pulling the door shut, make sure that the latch falls into the latch hole. If it feels too tight, if it doesn't wanna latch, just back off the screws, try bringing in the weather stripping just a little bit, pull the door shut, retighten the weather strip, you're gonna find that happy medium that keeps the door functioning but keeps a good seal. As you can see, it doesn't look that bad. They also make this in white, brown, black, based on the color of your door. It can help it hide or blend in a little bit more. But I got the installation done now. I'm already catching much less of a draft than I was before. I can tell that my light gaps are basically gone. It's much better than it was. I hope that's helpful. As I said, this is an affordable option to a very common problem with old doors. And as I mentioned, I'm linking this down below, linking several different types of weather stripping. And I'm gonna do a follow-up video where I specifically address the little light gap 
down at the bottom of the door. You always see them at the bottom of the door because the sweep doesn't extend to fill that space and sometimes the weather stripping on the outside of the door doesn't fill it that well either. There's a product they make that does that perfectly. I'm gonna show it in a follow-up video. Just don't have it on hand right now. What do you think about this method? Do you think it could help you? Have you used it before? Feel free to put any comments, questions down below. As always, thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. And uh, keep your eyes peeled for more videos coming soon. I'm Ethan James with TheHonestCarpenter.com. See you next time.